Now at six, a hero's welcome home, decades in the making, and it's all thanks to one family member who just wouldn't give up. The American hero left to fight in the Korean War 65 years ago. And after dying as a prisoner of war, it would take decades to bring this local hero home. Paul Burton has more on today's touching tribute. It's never too late to say goodbye and give thanks to someone who gave so much of himself. For the family of Corporal Ronald Sparks of Cambridge, his goodbye has taken 65 years. He deserves this, honor. In 1951, Corporal Sparks, a Korean War POW, died while in captivity in North Korea. He's been missing ever since. Sparks' nephew, Bob, remembers the day his uncle went off to fight. Well, I said, are you a soldier? He said, yes. He was going away. Fifty years later, in 2005, on his father's deathbed, Sparks made a promise to his dad he would find his uncle's remains. For 11 years, Bob, who also happens to be a historian, called around, researched, and never gave up. You know, I got books on the Korean War. I got the regimental histories of Ron's unit to try to find out where he was. Two months ago, thanks to the U.S. Army and DNA evidence, Sparks' body was found in an unmarked gravesite in South Korea. It was such overwhelming joy mm. that I just couldn't speak. Speak. I knew that 65 years after falling in the service of his country, 11 years after my dad asking me to find him, we found him. Tuesday, a motorcade rode past his old home in Cambridge where a wreath was laid on his coffin. I'm very happy getting my brother's home. It's been a long time. Yes, it has. And we're going to lay him to rest. Hundreds took part in the ceremony, including Sparks' childhood friend and war vet Moses Moore. Father Sparky, because his name was Sparks, just the quiet kid playing in the playground with us. When I awoke that night, somebody wanted me to see Ron because you know, 50 years later, I'd be here taking him home. Corporal Sparks will be buried in Woodlawn Cemetery in Everett, next to his parents in Cambridge. On Paul Burton, WBZ News. Doesn't matter how long, it always matters. So much emotion for the family and that great gentleman who brought him home. And uh, boy, it's a tough story.